Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and today we will discuss about the basic building blocks of a wireless network that is RSSI and SNR. So without much ado, let's proceed. So what is an RSSI? An RSSI is the received signal power in milliwatts and is measured in dBm. The value can be used as a measurement of how well we receive a signal from a sender. So as you can see in the diagram below, we have plotted x-axis power to y-axis distance. So let's say when from a transmitter, the signal starts its way towards the receiver. So it freely falls as it traverses the distance and this is called path loss. Now you see this red dotted line now at some point it hits the antenna and then it receives a gain so that green dotted line again uh, takes the signal a notch up there due to the antenna cabling etc it falls again a little bit then it receives uh, it is received by the receiver now this blue line is the signal strength or RSSI what we call it and that is constant when it is received and processed by the receiver. Some trivia about the RSSI. RSSI is measured in dBm and is a negative value. The closer the value is to zero, the better the signal quality. So uh, let's say the minimum RSSI is around minus 120 dBm. Example of a strong signal, minus 25. Example of a weak signal, that is minus 80. Now, what is signal to noise ratio? So, SNR or signal to noise ratio is the ratio between the received power signal and the noise floor power level. The noise floor is an area of all unwanted interfering signal sources which can corrupt the transmitted signal and therefore retransmission occurs. So as we can see in the diagram below, the first one is the signal. So it's basically a wave which carries the data and Increasing this particular signal level using antennas is the cause of SNR improvement. Second, this is the noise. This is already created by the receiver. On top of it, outside interference also can add to this. And the third one is the signal with the noise, what we receive. Next, we will see how to deduce the SNR from signal and noise. So now uh, we will see how to calculate or deduct the SNR from a signal and noise. So as you can see, let's say the signal is 10 dBm and the noise is 80 dBm, uh, obviously with uh, the negative signs with them. So we simply deduct the noise from the signal. So that is minus 10 and minus of minus 80. There is plus 80 and minus 10 that makes it to 70 dBm. So as simple as it, if you have the values in dBm for signal and noise, this is how you get the signal to noise ratio. We will see in this part an example of a low system noise and a high system noise different. So as you can see, the left side of the diagram is having a low noise floor and a high signal, right? So that is the reason, if you re recall the part where we talked about how to uh, deduct the SNR, you will understand that this signal to noise ratio in the left hand side in the low system noise part the SNR will be greater than zero right 
and in the right hand side of the diagram as the noise floor is pretty high uh, and the signal is not that high so maybe uh, if the values are properly given as per the diagram we will see that the resulting SNR will come down less than or almost is equal to zero so in this particular scenario the signal will be really bad and it will be hard to differentiate the real meaningful signal from the noise floor this is the last part of the video where we have just shown a capture from a particular uh, wireless capturing software uh, where you can see the noise and signal in real time right so again uh, if you see the noise as it goes near to the 0 comma 0 of the axis or lower down in the axis the noise is a little bit more and if you go higher the signal you can see at some points the signals have emerged and at that point of time the noise or at that area or the noise is a little less compared to down below so that is the reason why we can you know hear that particular signal in a better way or in a good better way or we can differentiate the signal from the noise overhead that's pretty much for today folks uh, thanks for watching if you have any query uh, any feedback if you have something uh, more to understand or a question fee please feel free to drop a comment so that I can get back to you. Thanks for watching again. Have a good evening. Jai Hind. Bye-bye.